Arriving on Mars enfeebled will be at best pointless and at worst fatal. This is a fact, not a threat. Watching Scott Kelly struggle to walk after a year in space should be a sobering reminder to those making plans to travel to Mars. In spite of an extensive exercise regime and the best treatment that 50 years of space medicine can muster, recovering from extended zero gravity remains a tremendous physical challenge. So did Elon Musk lose his mind by spending more than $10 billion so far to develop the starship colonizing Mars? Definitely not. This is how exactly will a SpaceX starship generate artificial gravity on long trips such as to Mars. But first, what is even gravity? Yeah, you are familiar with this. Gravity is one of the universe's fundamental forces and dominates every moment of our conscious experience. It keeps us close to the ground, drags baseballs and basketballs out of the air and gives our muscles something to struggle against. Cosmically, gravity is just a consequential. Some people think that there's no gravity in space. In fact, a small amount of gravity can be found everywhere in space. Gravity is what holds the moon in orbit around Earth. Gravity causes Earth to orbit the sun. It keeps the sun in place in the Milky Way galaxy. Gravity, however, does become weaker with distance. It is possible for a spacecraft to go far enough from Earth that a person inside would feel very little gravity. But this is not why things float on a spacecraft in orbit. The International Space Station orbits Earth at an altitude between 200 and 250 miles. At that altitude, Earth's gravity is about 90% of what it is on the planet's surface. In other words, if a person who weighed 100 pounds on Earth's surface could climb a ladder all the way to the space station, that person would weigh 90 pounds at the top of the ladder. And imagine the journey to Mars. You'll be as light as a feather. Sound interesting, right? But it is absolutely terrible circumstance. If gravity is absent, then our bodies will begin to realize that there is no need for muscles to keep us functioning normally. Thus, muscle atrophy occurs. Rigorous muscle building routines and steroid treatments are mandatory for astronauts could literally be killed by normal gravity if they spent way too much time in space. With bone and muscle breaking down alongside blood vessels, bursting due to the sudden shift in pressure. For all of this, of course, SpaceX needs to find a solution to protect passengers and fulfill legal responsibilities for the services they provide. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk answered yes in a post in X three years ago. In fact, SpaceX has considered tethering crewed starships together and spinning them around the center of that tether to create artificial gravity of crew members on months-long journeys between Earth, Mars, and other planets. Artificial gravity is the creation of an inertial force in a spacecraft in order to emulate the force of gravity. This concept is often seen in, but is not limited to science fiction shows like Star Trek, and researchers are currently working on methods to create artificial gravity in space. Technically, it is not a true force as Newton's laws spill them out, but it is a force concept that produces the results we want. From the point of view of the object in motion, gravity is pulling. It is in a straight line away from the center point of rotation. In fact, you have experienced this type of artificial gravity. If you have ever been on an amusement park ride that spins you in circles in a cylinder and you are held against that wall while the floor drops away. Using centrifugal force to create artificial gravity in space was first proposed back in the early 1900s by the Russian scientist Konstantin Tsiolkovsky. NASA did some very early experiments with it during the Germany and Skylab programs, but no real-world applications were ever developed. This type of system was deemed critical to the health of the astronauts both throughout the journey and so they could effectively work on Mars without significant health issues from the journey. But how did tether crewed starships together to create artificial gravity? Well, you might have seen in movies where some futuristic spaceships are built like a giant rotating wheel. This configuration known as the Von Braun wheel is a concept for a space station that would create artificial gravity by its spin. In fact, it's idea that you probably have experienced for yourself if you've ever been on a fair ride that spins around. You know, like those teacups that upset your stomach. Then you probably felt centrifugal force. Not to be confused with centrifugal force, 
This force pulls up the outside edge of the rod as it spins and spins. Now, instead of these tiny teacups on that ride, imagine a much larger spinning vessel, and you can start to understand how an astronaut would experience gravity even in the cold, deep reaches of space. After conducting some research into centripetal force, one idea for cutting artificial gravity was to design a hub ship where the payload bay is filled with a truss that unfolds any deploys robotically, thus serving as the wheel's spokes. It would be positioned between two passenger starships and would link up with them during the six months long journey to Mars. Once linked up, the passenger ships would swivel around to reorient themselves and fire their thrusters to impart momentum to the wheel. Once enough velocity was generated to simulate Earth normal gravity, the passenger ships would reorient themselves again to face inwards towards the hub ship. For the remainder of the journey, those aboard the passenger ships would experience the sensation of being pulled down thanks to the centripetal force created by the rotation of the wheel. But how will it work for a SpaceX starship? If two starships were tethered together and spinning around the center of that tether, it would essentially act just like the rotating Von Braun wheel. This way, we could allow astronauts to experience gravity on their long trips to Mars or practically anywhere. If the two ships were tethered around their mated tails, that would create a centrifugal force. The best part about this is that SpaceX can customize the specifics so that those on board can experience the exact amount of gravity that would feel when they go to Mars. This way, the crew would arrive on the red planet already adjusted to the gravity levels that they're walking into and they will be ready to start their missions right away. You know, the idea of using two ships in a rotating fashion has been around for a long time. With the first recorded example provided by Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, one of the founding fathers of rocketry and aeronautics. In 1903, he published a study titled Investigation of Outer Space Rocket Devices, where he suggested using rotational force to create artificial gravity in space. Since then, many variations of this idea have been proposed for space stations and habitats, such as the Von Braun Wheel, the O'Neill's Slender, and the Stanford Taurus. Some concepts are even being considered for development, such as NASA's Nautilus X space or the Gateway Foundation's proposal for a commercial space station. Many people have seen it as the most probable, safe, and effective way to deliver artificial gravity. After all, is this plan really valuable? It seems like it follows basic physics, and it also seems like the fastest way to get the results that Musk and SpaceX need. However, no tests on this method of gravity creation have been conducted. NASA experimented with it in the 1960s, but nothing has been done since, so not even Musk know how well it will work. Right now, everything is just speculation. Maybe that's why Musk rather cryptically says that SpaceX has just considered the concept and didn't elaborate on whether the company ultimately decided to drop the subject or pursue it further. Regardless, Linking two starships together is the smartest option SpaceX has for creating artificial gravity at the moment. And we're looking forward to the new updates from Musk and SpaceX this year. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications feature so you do not miss out on any of our upcoming space imported updates. Your support is literally your driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you in the next time.